Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Saturday, the 6th of July, 2024. Uh, a very different kind of gaming day after yesterday being all very challenging gameplay and very stressful. Uh, mixed it up today with a little bit more variety. First of all, on today's Level 1 podcast, we talked about some varied topics, including how I had had one of my best, if not my best, Street Fighter 6 stream ever on Friday night. Um, and in addition to that, some various news topics, for example... Team Bondi returning to game development, as well as uh, some really weird Street Fighter Six branded clothing that people in the community seem to be like panning, and I wanted to ask people what they thought about it. So anyway, um, some good topics discussed on today's podcast show, and then we rolled back into the Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC. Sadly, I could not do what I had hoped. I could not put the weapon art that looks like M Bison's Psycho Crusher move onto any of the weapons that I was using. Really sucked that I wasn't able to do that. <clears throat> but we were able to continue on in Shadow Keep and found the way to leave Shadow Keep and go to the western part of the map, which is good because I think that's where we're going next for the story. Um, continued to climb the Shadow Keep and basically got to the top <clears throat> and fought Mesmer the Impaler. All right. If you're wondering how the fight went, all I'm going to say is kind of underwhelming. A lot of people kind of built him up as one of the coolest bosses, and uh, I'll just say it didn't really last very long. It wasn't that big of a deal. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, yeah, it took a little bit, but it wasn't like some, oh my god, Melania or uh, Melania level challenge or anything. You know what I mean? It was nothing like that. So anyway, it looked nice. But anyway, after that, we continued on. We did a bunch of quests for various different NPCs that were around. Um, and then I now had the ability to check out the upper north uh, northeastern portion of the map, which allowed me to explore an optional area for the Fingers quest for the guy who uh, was basically the, the magic trainer guy over at that uh, cathedral that we had found earlier. <clears throat> so we did the second Fingers quest or whatever it was. And basically what happens is this then opens up an entire quest line for that guy where there's an optional area and a really cool series of optional boss fights, okay? I don't want to spoil, but basically it was really neat, and it exposed some of the cool lore of Elden Ring that everyone had been asking this particular question about this particular lore ever since Elden Ring came out. And now here we are, two years later, we got our lore answers from this DLC. And I was like, that was neat. It was a neat boss. It was a way to get the lore, and it resulted in me getting another really weird but cool weapon if you thought a giant sunflower head that i'm smashing people with was was weird wait till you see the next one all right so overall great elden ring stream today tackled some of the supposed harder stuff and didn't really have an issue with it and it's funny because people are like yeah so basically now i'm like 29 parts into the playthrough they're like probably two maybe three more streams and i'm probably gonna beat it only because it doesn't seem like I'm having any difficulty with the stuff that other people had difficulty with in this DLC. I'm essentially just cruising right through the things that everyone else was like, oh, this boss is tough, took me an hour to beat. No, for me, it's like 10 minutes. So it is what it is. Listen, I'm enjoying it. I still like it. Uh, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's weird that a lot of people said this was like the hardest thing and I really haven't had that experience at all during this DLC. I haven't felt like it was the hardest thing. Like I said, only the only thing that maybe would happen is if you were so stubborn that when you started you really wanted to keep using your build from the base game <clears throat> no this game wants you to re respec using the boss weapons and things from the game i mean i'm now on build four using probably five or six different weapons since i started the dlc so i'm rolling with it like i think they intended you to do and i'm not really having any issues you know so anyway <clears throat> yeah great stuff great progress today and also a well-supported stream had a great time Check out the videos if you want to see the Mesmer fight and the other optional boss. Really big lore dump there. <clears throat> okay. Um, tonight, it was Stardew Valley Chill. And tonight was a very eventful Stardew Valley stream. We got my first ever chickens, and we got them starting to grow here uh, on, the, on the coop that I had bought. <clears throat> Lots of harvesting of different crops. We had another run in the mines that got me down further than I'd ever been before. And then all of a sudden... About halfway through tonight's stream, it said Trout Festival begins. I was like, Trout Festival? What is that? 
Well, apparently it's a trout fishing contest where you go down to the river right below your farm and you fish for two days straight. And the more trout you catch, you get rewarded randomly with these tickets that you trade in for rewards. So basically I just did it for about two days straight in the game and it took about an hour. And not only did I catch a ton of fish that got me a lot of money and leveling of, of my abilities, but also I got a bunch of cool, interesting, unique rewards, some of which I put to work right away, like a second sprinkler for my farm. And others, I don't even know. Like, I have mystery packages I need to open at the blacksmith and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> it seems like there's going to be a lot of stuff as a result of doing this fishing that's going to turn out well for me. Um, Again, I had a great time hanging out with everyone on stream. We had great interactions, great conversation, people helping me to understand the systems. That's what works about late night chill streams. It went swimmingly, no pun intended because of the fishing. It went swimmingly, and we had a great time together. And it was pretty good support as well for a late night chill stream. You know, no complaints. Great overall streaming day today. Super fun. So I hope you'll check out all that stuff. <clears throat> and again, just to reiterate, I really hope you'll check out the Street Fighter 6 videos of M. Bison from Friday night. That was literally the best I've ever played in Street Fighter 6. No exaggeration. Ugh, I got hair in my mouth. Ugh. And uh, obviously, I want you to check it out because it was so entertaining and fun for me to get better at the game. Um, all right. So Sunday, July 7th is React Day. No gameplay tomorrow. Instead, we'll have a podcast here on DSP Gaming. Then we'll scoot over to DSP Reacts, my uh, React channel, where we're going to do DSP versus the Internet, the live clip show. And then on the late stream, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time over on DSP Throwback, we will continue with the Dark Souls 1 Retro React stream event, where I watch back my 13-year-old playthrough of Dark Souls 1 from 2011, where I was ignorant. I am like six hours into this playthrough. I'm still not locking on to enemies. It's pretty funny, okay? So I hope you'll join me for that Sunday night. We may or may not continue. If it keeps doing well and people show up for it, it's only like maybe two to three more streams to actually finish the playthrough. Because remember, I rage quit Dark Souls 1. I never beat it. I only got the Blight Town and that was it. I tapped out. <clears throat> so perhaps it makes sense since I am continuing on and finishing up Elden Ring in the next one to two weeks. Maybe we continue on with Dark Souls 1 and we finish that. And then we could go back to other fun stuff like Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games and time it for the actual start of the real-life Olympics. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow night. I'll get people's opinions on that, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? So no gameplay tomorrow. Gameplay returns on Monday. There'll be a full stream of Street Fighter VI and Bison ranked gameplay on the first stream. There is no late stream on Monday night because I'm doing private patron videos for the month. Full-time gaming returns on Tuesday. More Elden Ring, and yes, another night stream of Stardew Valley Chill. If you're wondering, oh, where's Riven? Riven will continue on Thursday night when I get back from my break, okay? Thank you all. Great streaming day. Please have a good, safe night. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow for React Day all day long. Peace out, everybody.